Hello, yes, Zooey and Mama is back, and yet again, we got another mob tutorial with me today. And as you can see, just there at the start of the video, a little sneaky preview of some of the mobs that I've sort of been working on recently, and I'll be doing a tutorial on them. So if you did catch a few at the start there, then yes, they will be coming. I'm not going to tell you where they are right now, because it's a bit of a, you know, we're going to keep it as a little bit of a mystery for now. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so the Iron Golem, um, this guy took a fair while to make, and as you can see from the video, Video. It is actually quite a big video as well, so I do apologize for that I did try and keep it as short as I can short and sweet just for you um, But obviously as you know, uh, I tried to put a bit of detail on my builds and this one took a little while just trying to get the right dimensions and um, Yeah, just a lot of colors as well. So but yeah finally getting there This is wow look at this. Yeah, here he is. Here he is. He's just rendering in. I was just gonna say where is he? Um, so here he is on the left hand side we have got the iron golem and he turned out alright, I quite like the look of him. Um, it, to start off with it was just a horrible mess but I think I've actually got it down to looking at a right sort of reasonable um, sort of mob. But anyway, let's get down to the colours shall we and let's get this build on the go. So we got 515 white concrete. Just the two red concrete. We've got 70 brown concrete, 6 black concrete, we got 40 green concrete, we've got 12 yellow concrete, we've got 75 lime green concrete, why do I say lime green, it's just lime concrete isn't it, we've got 70 um, lime terracotta, 436 light grey terracotta 650 roughly of white terracotta we got smooth quartz at 477 and the last one's just going to be clay at 53 and I just want to say that these numbers are not going to be exact particularly the white concrete because that was the most used block but it's damn sure close as I could get it. So you want to get yourself a nice big area and what we're going to do is going to start off with the feet so we're going to go across by 6 and then by four, spin it on back around and go six again, and then that should connect nicely up to being a four. Once you've done that, we're going to count up, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen blocks high. Just like that. Once we've done this, we're going to actually put on our pause section. So anyone that's new around here, what you need to do now is just pause the video, copy that pattern down, and then unpause it, and then move on to the next section. This is how I like to do my videos. And um, there we go. So, so all you're doing is spin on around to the right, and you're going to copy that pattern, pause it, and then re-watch it, um, and then carry on watching to do the next section. So yeah, like I said, this is my style of videos. Um, most of them are like this, so yeah. That's just how I do them. I, I just think it's a nice way to do a tutorial rather than me placing by block by block by block because I find that very boring. So you don't really see a lot of me doing that, but I do obviously talk through um, where you need to place these um, nice big pause sections. Um, so yeah, what do you think? It's not bad, eh? Quite ingenious if you ask me. So we're now going to move on to the next foot. So what we're going to do from the front of the foot here, we're going to count out by four. And on that fourth block, we're going to do the same again. So we're going to get our brown concrete out and we're going to go across by six and then by four and then wrap that all the way around for the base of his foot. And then we're going to switch to our light gray terracotta and then do a band across. And then all we're doing is all we're going to do is replicate opposite to what you see. So you can see in the background there of the other leg, we're going to do a band of um, white terracotta and then white concrete and then white terracotta, white terracotta again. So uh, see, see what I mean? I'm just literally copying that opposite one to me. The greens that you can see, we're ignoring those. So anything that's green, we're just going to replace it with the color that it's actually um, in the same row as, right? So there we go, white concrete, um, sorry, white terracotta. And then switching back to the white concrete, a little bit of white terracotta there. Oh, sorry, no, 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 smooth quartz. What was I thinking? <laughs> back to white concrete and then smooth quartz to top it off. So all we've done really is a load of lines um, with white concrete, white terracotta and smooth quartz, okay? And then now we're going to do the front of our pause section, so the front of the leg. There we go, lovely jobbly. And then on the side here, 
all you're going to do is just wrap those same colours all the way around. Um, so th this side bit's quite basic here, isn't it? You don't really have to think too much. It's quite nice. You can just go all the way across with the same colour. But now spinning on round to the back of the leg, it does sort of mix things up a bit and there are a few colours out of place. So those bands are not actually there at the minute. There we go, look at that, looking good. So you should have two fully standing um, iron golem legs ready to put a body on. So what we want to do now is these four here, you can ignore or you can put a block in. And then once you've done that, you can get your white terracotta, put like a, a three in like so. And then you want to put one smooth quartz in. Again, we're going to do replicate that on this side. So anything in that block there or leave it blank. Put three white terracotta and then a smooth quartz in like that. Okay, so you should have something looking a little bit like that. So remember that section earlier that we said we're not going to build on? Well, we're going to build on it now. So what we're going to do is bring it out by one and you're going to wrap this sort of rectangle across those two sections that we haven't put anything in there or any random block that you already put in there and then you're going to link it all up like so. So that should be nine across from, from side to side it should be nine and you're going to bring this up by a total of five blocks okay so nine across and five high and once you've done that you can pause it and we're going to do our first little section. So that is the sort of torso, sort of body area of the iron golem. Switching back to the white concrete, I'm just going to knock this out actually, and we're going to just wrap this around with white concrete. That that blue is there just obviously just so I can mark it out and show you what we're doing and where we're going. So like I said, it's overhanging the back by one and it's nine across. And it should be over those two blue sections that we did earlier. Switching to your quartz, we're going to do wrap a nice little um, row all the way around. And then switching to your white terracotta, yet again, it's pretty much the same. We're going to do a nice ring around all the way around. It's quite a nice build this is actually, it's quite repetitive on, on, in some areas anyway at least. It's so back to your smooth quartz, again you're going to do a nice little ring all the way around. And yes, you've guessed it, white concrete all the way around. And we're actually going to mix up a few blocks in a minute, but I just wanted to do that so you can see. Um, and this, this little bit here will just make it easier. So I'm just going to switch to our white terracotta here. I'm just going to knock that block out there. And then we're just going to knock out two there. Just to break up the lines a little bit. I didn't want it having it too sort of like liney. So yeah, we just knock them out just to give it a bit of bit, bit more depth, I guess, and a bit more detail. So from this block here, we're going to bring it up at one, two, three, four. And then one, two towards us. And then on that third block, you're going to place light grey terracotta twice lime green terracotta, two white, then a lime, and then we're going to do eight white terracotta all the way across, and then back to your light grey terracotta, one, two, and then three, and then towards us we're going to do ten light grey terracotta in total, so including that first one, ten all the way across, and then we're going to bring that out by one, two again. And then we're going to do white terracotta again, and we're going to do 11. So we're going to bring that all the way down towards us. And then we're going to do one, two, three grey terracotta again. And then this, we can bring it all the way back to the start. So if you did that right, you should connect that up all the way across. Once you've done that, you now need to fill it in with a light grey terracotta all the way through all the gaps. And I've just sped things up just to make the video a little bit quicker. Looking good, looking good. Right now, we want to come from this corner and we're going to go up by 11 blocks. So on the top of that platform, count up 11 blocks, <clears throat> like so. And we'll do this side as well, just a point, is, point of reference here. And we're going to do our next pause, pa oh, pause section. We need to come up with a name, don't we? Someone come up with an ingenious name for this. I, I really should come up with summer rather than keep saying the pause section. But anyway, here we go. So we're going to now pause, pause the video. There we go, cover that down. And you've probably noticed quite recently as well, there's a lot of um, black lines in that through there. I've did that just to make it a little bit easier to differentiate between the blocks. So now from this corner, we're going to just now add on a few blocks. So you want to put a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow, a little more, more green terracotta, green concrete. And then you're going to go white, white 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 again with the white terracotta some lime green some more white terracotta and then finish it off with a little bit of gray on top and you should have something looking like that and we're going to spin on round and do something a little bit similar not exactly the same on this side as well so again we're going to um what we're going to have this time we're going to start off with the gray so we're just going to put a dot there just to follow that line round follow that line round there with the white concrete 
and follow that on the top there and then everything else is pretty much going to be white um, terracotta okay apart from those three blocks that we placed so there we go simple we're not going to pause it here because that was that was basic stuff wasn't it it was easy Okay, spinning on back around to the side now. So all we're going to do is we're going to box this off just to make things a little bit more clear. So we're going to just bring these two corners um, into a, into an into a line into a line with each other, um, just so you can see what's going on. And I'm just going to also bring this all the way back as well, so we've got like a nice big cube to work from. And you can see then where we're actually doing the next pause sections from. So we're going to start with the back section to start off with. And there we go. Look at that. And I'm hoping, like I said earlier, those little little faint black marks on there can sort of help you see um, the, the blocks a bit better. So we're going to pretty much do what we were doing earlier on the back this time rather than the front, just filling this little column. So we're going to put a little bit of grey down, some white concrete, and then we're also going to get some white terracotta out like that and just fill that in. There we go. So we're just sort of lining everything up nicely, ready to put the arms in at the minute. So we're just filling all the little sort of necessary gaps in. Okay, and then spinning on back to this side. Again, we're going to put some some grey in, we're going to then put some, what else are we put in, some white here, just so that line, you want to follow that line around, some white concrete, there we go, and then white terracotta, bop, 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 there we go, that should be simple, right, You do you follow that? I did go quite slow as well, just to make things a little bit easier as well, because I do realise sometimes I do rush these builds a bit too much, and then I get people sort of saying, oh, you're going too quick, so I apologise. Right, spinning on to the front, we're going to look down from the top now, and again, we're going to do a nice pause section. That blue, as you're aware, you can put any block you want there for now, or just leave it completely blank, it's up to you. And that's the torso done. So now, from the front left of the build, from that big blue square that we had built earlier, you're going to overhang by two blocks and then you want to come up by a total of 10 blocks and obviously this is where the guy's head's going to be so again we're going to just follow that all the way across and then overhang it from the edge by two blocks and then 10 high and then all you should be able to do then is connect these two sections up and what do you know we got ourselves a face and boom whack that pause button on right now and get that pattern done and that's it there we go and then spinning on around to the right hand side the side of his head quite basic there's not really much to going on here um there we go looking nice looking good right now spinning on around to the back again quite basic there's just a few colors there nothing really too strenuous um that sort of band of gray and clay sort of whip all the way around so you don't really need to think too much about that and then this side is obviously going to be the exact same as the first side we've done. So you should have two sides of the head looking split an image of each other. There we go. Look at that. And then just from the top, I'm not going to pause it here. I'm just going to show you briefly. But there should be clay running from all the way from the front of the head to the back with a one block gap. And the rest is just filled in with white concrete. So that's really basic. There we go. So I'm just going to show you underneath here, that's just filled in with white terracotta if you're wondering if you've happened to have a gap there, but you haven't now because you're going to fill that in. And then you want to get on the nose. So we're going to come down by five. So from this blue section, we're going to come down by five and then it's going to be three wide all the way down like so. And then we're going to switch to our light grey terracotta and then just literally overlay what we've already done already. I must admit that the noses really do look odd on Minecraft, they do, and I always sort of question myself when I'm looking at them thinking they look bizarre, but hey, it's Minecraft, Minecraft is a bizarre game, but I love it. So what we're going to do is build the arm now, so from this block here, you want to go one high, bring it out by four, and then by six this way, and then come out by four again, and you should be able to connect those up, and that should fill this big hole that's in, like, in the side of your golem. And then we're going to get a little bit of brown concrete, place four, two like that, and then two white terracotta. Okay, so once you've done that, we're now going to count downwards. So from this point onwards, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, 14 from the top, and we're going to put a nice little line there just to show that it's going to be four wide. And there we go, we're going to pause it for our first pause section on the arms, and there is a fair few of these, so I do apologise. Moving on around to the left, we're going to now do the side of the arm, and again, we're going to pause it. So in total, this should be a total of 15 blocks from the top to the bottom, but remember, we've already did that top area already anyway, so it should only be 14 blocks that you're working on. And then spinning on around to the back, so this is the back of the iron arm, 
And again, we're gonna do a nice pause here to get that pattern down. Right, okay. I'm just gonna mark off a few blocks here just so we don't get confused in a minute and we're gonna add on the next part of the arm. That was probably the easiest way for me to do this sort of part of the build. Okay, so from underneath that section we've done, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 blocks down, okay? from what we've already did. And again, yes, you know the drill, we're gonna do the exact same thing, and we're gonna pause it again, and you're gonna copy that pattern down again. <laughs> that is, it's a bit repetitive, I must admit. But the thing is, if I went through this tutorial with placing block by block by block by block, I'm telling you, we'll be here all week doing this mob build because it would take so long. It took me long just trying to edit it, never mind actually going through every block placement <laughs> there is, okay? so. I hope you understand where I'm coming from and why I do it this way. Congratulations, you have now successfully completed your first iron golem arm. And it's all downhill from here because that was that's the first one, so the second one's easy. So get your light grey terracotta and you're just going to fill that in from the back there. Okay, now all we're going to do is every colour that you see in front of you, you're going to bring it all the way across. So all we're doing is a load of lines um, with the adjacent colour, so white concrete and um, white terracotta, and we've also got the quartz in there as well, okay? And I've just sped things up a little bit, um, just because you don't want to watch me just going from line to line to line. But you get the idea, right? You, all you're doing is going all the way across with lines, lines, lines from the adjacent colour. There we go, so you should have something looking like that. Beautiful. So we're on to the final arm now, and all you're going to do is come two blocks in, and then one a block high, just above where that big hole is in the side of the body, and then out by four, towards us by six, and then back by four, and then connect that up with a final six. And then again, we're gonna get a brown concrete, we're gonna do four, a line of two, and then two white terracotta for the top of the shoulder. And then, Harry, how many can you remember? Can you remember how many we counted down? It was a total of 14 from that top of the arm there, giving us a total of 15 blocks in all, and then all we're going to do is do a lovely little pause section as always. Looking good. We're almost there. Just bear with, guys. Bear with because we are so close from finishing this. Okay. And then spinning on around to the right-hand side. And we've got a lot of green on this one, all right? So, um, yeah, some green terracotta, lime greens in there. We've got some yellow concrete as well. We've also, yeah, it, I think every single colour is in the side of that arm there, which is a bit ridiculous. Right. And then spinning on around to the back and final part of the arm. There we go, that's the back of the Iron Golem's arm. And that is the top section done. And again, I'm just gonna probably just mark off a few of the blocks for you so you can see that where we're starting from next. So we just mark it off the pink here for a minute. Just so you don't get a bit confused because trust me, I got confused a lot when I was building this. So from here, remember, we're gonna now come down by a total of 15 blocks from the base of that section we've already built. And this will be our final arm section of the day. So here we go. Last little push and this build is all over. There we go, look at that, looking good. And then again, spin on around to the right hand side. And remember to be careful because that pink section we've already done that, that I marked up the top there. But I've, I've covered it up quite nicely so that you can't actually get too distracted and build on there anyway. There we go, spin on around to the back, there we go, lovely, and then the last final arm section, there we go, all looking good, and then all we need to do now is again pretty much do what we did last time and fill the inside of this Iron Golem's arms, and again we're just going to do a long band of colours again, so the adjacent colour, all you're going to do is connect the colours from side to side, so white terracotta, and then so on and so forth, right? Smooth quartz, and I'm gonna speed things up again because again, you don't wanna watch me connecting these two dots. It's pretty much connecting dot to dot. You're connecting the two same colors from side to side, and the base is gonna be all filled in with white terracotta. And congratulations if you made it to this point because you have successfully got yourself an iron golem. I've been Zooey Mama, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.